Holiday Inn. Mark is just checking out. Boys are here. It's just gone seven o'clock. So we are going to go get the car and then head to the airport door. So the Holiday Inn lobby is empty now this morning. But for those who need a coffee fix in the morning before you leave, they do serve Starbucks in here. Ooh. Well, here comes Daddy. We're going to get in the car and drive around to the meet and greet parking. Let's go. In the car. Right then. So it is 7.15 here, mate. We've got to literally drive two minutes around the corner, drop the car off at the meet and greet, and then we can go check in. It's holiday day, kiddos. Yeah. Holiday day, Ben. Yeah. It's all very exciting. But just, you know, to reaffirm the fact that we're going back home. It's a bit chilly and it's raining. It's raining. So we've got a little bit damp in the way to the car. As per usual. As per usual. So I pull back in now to the terminal two bit. where we went wrong last night. Um, meet and greet, here we go, into the meet and greet bit. Uh, which one's the meet and greet side? Level D. Uh, what level are we going to? Is this not the one? Is it not? I don't know, is this the one? It What's says. Server, then? There we go. Level D, Daddy. Meet and greet only up. Go into these little pod things here, and they take photos all the way around of your vehicle before you go in. It says vehicle not recognised. Anyway, what should happen is the number plate recognition should kick in. So we just had to give the registration number of the vehicle to the man and we're all good. I've got a funny feeling because we're in Mark's new work truck thing yeah. that what? the number oh. plate is a bit too high. Oh. Right, Finley, do not open your you can't open the door, sorry. No. Yeah. I'm going to suggest that the vehicle was too high and it uh, couldn't read the number plate. So, but either way, we're now here. Terminal 2 is just over there, look. So we'll get everything out the car, walk across there where you can see that little thing over there, that roof thing. Cross over the road into ter Terminal. Guys, we might need to run for it because it's raining. Terminal 2 over there, but all you can see is rain on the window. Which is the reason why we're leaving the UK to go to America for a holiday. Forever. <laughs> if only. Not allowed to outstay the Esther. So we walked across the road. And we're in. Trying to navigate two cases, so... Bear with. Right then, we're in. Daddy's just gone over to meet and greet. Tap the details in, hand over the keys. Confirm our arrival date. And then we're going over there. 
the Virgin. That's it. We are checked in. We're now heading down to departures. So the interesting thing, they've got upgrades available. Now we've already booked in premium. Um, as we got the prices were relatively reasonable to be fair when we booked. But we just asked about what the upgrade is to first class. £749 a person to upgrade from here. So I'm going to have to stop video recording now because we're just about to start going through security, which is here. So, we'll get ready. Woohoo! So, this then is the shopping area in Terminal 2. It's been a while since we've been, so we've now got a Costa Coffee here. And suddenly this... WH Smiths. And suddenly this time we don't have premium lounges. No, we don't have a lounge. Hey? Don't remember this bit. Don't remember this bit. No, I think it's all new. It's all been redeveloped, isn't it, Terminal 2? No. So... We've got the techie station over there. The big massive duty free shop now. Mommy needs makeup brushes. Because I've left them at home. Epic failure. So far, the one thing we've forgotten is my makeup brushes. I can't anything because you packed everything, so I can't. No, can't you do it no. I am the only one to blame here. I know this. Yeah, that's right. I can't judge you for it. You packed everything else. Mm. So, no, you can't be judged for forgetting the makeup brushes. No. No. So far, though, I don't think we've forgotten anything else, but I may have spoken too soon. Who knows? Oh, I need perfume. So, we've got perfume purchased. I've completely run out of everything. So the next thing we're on the hunt for are makeup brushes. We may go to Boots for those. Ooh, daddy. Sunglasses! What was that, Marky? What did you say? He knows I like to look at the sunglasses. The problem is I never stopped just at the looking bit. Ooh, it's all very nice, isn't it? Sunglass shop there, they've got a beauty one down there. And then round here then they've got JD Sports, more duty free shop. Accessorise and it looks like they've got that's a San Carlo. What there are you talking about, San Carlo? Well, I do breakfast as well. Um, all the eatery options. We need to find somewhere for breakfast, don't we? We do breakfast in San Carlo. They do, but we need to have a look what they do, Daddy. Barberito. Ooh. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and explore. He wants to go and get his sea bands first. Head to boots. I might be able to get my makeup brushes out of here and then we can get it all in one fell swoop. Aren't I smart if we come to boots? You them. are smart, darling, yes. Nice little seating areas dotted around, look. Very nice. It's, 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 uh, right then. We found them! Let's get by. So if you've got anybody that feels a bit of motion sickness or a bit of nausea while travelling, and you forget from home, they do t do the kids' travel bands here. So we'll give those a bit of a whirl. For Jacob. Yeah, we need to try to find brushes. Forgotten items now purchased. Now to go and find somewhere to sit down, get some breakfast. Message everyone and tell them we're all checked in okay. It's very nice in here. It's nice, isn't it, Jacob? Right, look at the menu over here then. Let's go and have a look at what they serve for breakfast in San Carlo. In the same. So here is the breakfast menu. San Carlo. That was 
the menu that we looked at outside, and they do have. Kids menu. Kids menu, which is here. Pancakes. So you could have pancakes. Okay. You could have it with strawberry and banana, and you could eat the banana and give Finley the strawberries. Daddy, I'm going to hazard a guess. Ex Benedict. No. So, funnily enough, San Carlo was another restaurant that we were recommended to try. Yes, please. And so, we're going to try it for breakfast instead. So, breakfast may have arrived and it's looking pretty good. Jacob ordered pancakes with banana. Then he went for pancakes with strawberry and banana. Daddy, eggs Benedict. Oh, look at how perfect those eggs are. Well, I think they are, you don't. The what? I said, I think they're perfect, you won't. Well, I can't cook eggs, so. You don't like eggs? Don't like them, and I can't cook them, despite trying. So, Mark gets to enjoy good eggs on holiday because that's the only time he's getting good eggs and then mine's a bit on the boring healthy side if you like but it's porridge it's what I like and I'm gonna eat all the snacks in Disney so so we had an enjoyable breakfast at San Carlo and we are now making our way towards the gate which has come up as a 12 um, yeah, as we said, it was a lovely breakfast. Everybody enjoyed what they had. It just got really busy. And then they weren't quite as attentive with the service. So we were trying to chase somebody down to be able to pay the bill so that we could go, which was a bit frustrating. But um, the food was really good. would recommend it. would go back. Some of the other options down here then. We have Barbarito Mexican. We've got some healthy salads and porridge bowls and things here. There's a pret for those that like pret. Coffee and bakehouse this size. If you don't want the sit down restaurant, so you want more of like a quick serve type option. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, a waffles shake. Burgers place here looks very American. That's very cool. So this is the special assistance area as well for anybody that uh, is requiring special assistance. Which um, we could have got it for Jacob, but we uh, didn't need to this time. We're now heading down the escalators again, heading towards the gate. And I've got a funny feeling, Jacob, well, there's two planes over there. I don't know which one it is. Do you want me to have that, dude? Are you all right? You okay with it? I'm trying to find the right size. Are you trying to find the right height? Okay. to where the gates are. I'm guessing this is the new bit. I don't remember us walking this far before at Manchester. Um, so just bear that in mind. Give yourself plenty of time to walk from the departure lounge to the gates. It's 12, it's yeah, it's about a 12, 11 minute walk. We, I mean, we've walked quite fast and we've used the Travelator moving walkway things. Um, but yeah, give yourself a good 10 or 15 minutes to get down here, especially if you're trying to move along with kids and lots of bags and or those that struggle with mobility, just give yourself plenty of time. So 
Jacob, as we are A12, Jacob, I'm going to say the furthest one away, yeah, but the aeroplane is our one. Yeah. Uh, that one's not ours, but which one is it? Can we see from here? That one's Golden Girl. But that one's not our plane. So that's the plane we're going on. That's Miss England. Let's go. Thank you. Go on then. Sorry. Just a whole thing you have to do. 24 C. Yeah. Not perfect. You'd be on this side of the air. Yeah. Thank you. So, Jacob, this is what you could have won. This is what we're not winning today. Something to aim for. That's it. Yeah. Keep going that way, darling. These two. Which one are you going in? That one? Just hit me with it there. Well, just drop that there a minute. Drop so it. we've got to lift it up. Boarded the plane, haven't we? How excited are you now? Yeah. Sadie and Jacob are here. They are also very excited. Jacob might not look it, but he is. Oh, he's messaging. Oh, like, Daddy's got bubbles, so he's very excited. You would? Oh, did she? Oh, you got comfy. <laughs> salad here, bread roll with some butter, they came round and offered a drink, and then this here then is the barbecue pork, and then for dessert it's a passion fruit cheesecake. So if I go over to what is left of Finley's demolished dinner, had a crudite to start with, with some carrots, a bit of hummus, some cheese, and a little quiche. They got bread roll. They got a little cheese and bread stick in there. Where Finn's at the bread sticks. And this was the chicken goujons with the sweet corn and the wedges. They got a little cookie, some brownie with a coconut cream. And now a full little Finney has decided he's having a little nap. So we're getting close to landing. The flight is nearly over. Isn't it Jacob? Swap seats and I'll have a Jacob by me and not a Finney. They brought around the afternoon tea and I completely forgot to film it. The sun is shining. It's really hard to see. So we're getting in a bit earlier than we thought as well, aren't we? Because it said we were going to land at 4, uh, 2 50. So it said we were going to land at 2 50. And now, so that's good. So we're like, winner, winner. Winner, winner. Get the car, get back to the hotel for dinner. Not really dinner, because dinner's sound like 5 6 So I'm in late. I know. I'm just saying that winner, winner chicken dinner, as in. No, except it's winner winner, get dinner by the pool. George, <laughs> I know. 
know. I'm going to say that plain food is good. I know. It's never the best. But yeah, got poppadoms. That was good. That, that was good. They did have like on the in the retail book that they were doing some poppadoms with some mango dip. And as soon as we saw those in the book, it was like, oh, I know who's going to want them. Chicken, chicken, chicken. So yes, we've got about 32 minutes to go. Well, half an hour. To a half an hour, and then we'll be landing. Home? Home. Well, it feels like home, doesn't it? Coming towards Johnsonville. And then down to Orlando. There we go. Gabby crew, please take your seats for landing. Thank you. Here we go, see? Give me, give me. wait was for the bags we were in through security in 10 minutes 15 minutes max I wasn't that sure Jacob but it was very short and then we just had to wait for the bags to come through and then we just whizzed down to the Alamo desk and there's no queue so hopefully we'll have the car very soon and we can get on our way off to Cabana Bay we're in the car Massive vehicle. We're in a Ford Expedition. So it's absolutely huge. Although I suppose for you it just feels like driving your Ranger. Uh, a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. We're off. We're off. That's it now. We kind of, as soon as we get out of the garage, they can't send us back. here and we're here for three weeks and that's it.
So rather than just using that ticket for one visit in the trip, or two visits, depending on how many days they decide to do at the water park, we can do it every day if we want. And have lots of water fun. So, yes, that is our reasoning behind going to Cabana Bay. We have also booked a Volcano Bay view room. So we're staying in one of the towers. Uh, we have stayed in one of these before and we did do a room tour of one of them. That room was an accessible room at the time, so we'll just have to wait until what kind of room we get. We didn't have the greatest experience at that particular time because oh, the battery went in the door, Bob. <laughs> and it was really, really late at night. We'd come back from the city walk, it was really late, and we'd walked all the way through the hotel down to the tower rooms. If you've stayed at Cabana Bay, you know those towers are a pretty big walk from the front of the hotel. Go. Um, yeah, we got to the room and the key didn't work. So we had to go all the way back to reception to let them know that the key wasn't working and then walk all the way back down to the room while they sent somebody down to fix it. So, yeah, it's just a random thing. It's not a complaint or anything, kind of. But yeah, it's just a a lot more experience at the time. The kids were a lot younger, they were very tired, we were tired. It was, yeah. And then to compound matters, somebody had a generator running some security, I think, at Cabana Bay, uh, at uh, Volcano Bay. Yeah, had I, think, a, I, not, I think I've that from the real Generator running for the whole night. I don't know what they were doing with it, whether it was running a fan or something, but yeah. That was really interesting night. So I'm hoping we're not going to have that same kind of experience staying in, the, in one of those rooms because the rooms themselves are gorgeous with the view over our okay, no, Anyway, so rather than that sounding like I'm starting out on a negative, we're not because obviously we're going back. We really like Cabana Bay. of us. There is the sign for Universal. You find it here, it is. Even though it looks like 20 different And there we go down Hollywood Way to find our hotel. Hollywood. Uh, Royal Pacific Resort is over there. We stayed at that one, that one was nice. That's probably my favourite one out of all of the... Um, like from a theming perspective. That's my favourite one out of all the ones we've stayed at from the Express Pass high end oh, yeah. hotel, the Royal Pacific. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think. Although I, think I did I, like I think, I think Portofino I think Bay. Bay. Yeah, Portofino Bay was nice for theming, Hard Rock was a bit. Yeah. Um, but I think for, in terms of value for money, Royal Pacific Way. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Because you still get the Express Passes well, and it's the cheaper out of the three hotels. It's, it's stuck to and you can walk. Yeah, you can still walk because we walked every day. So now we're turning down this road here, Adventure Way, to go to Cabana Bay. Yeah. <sighs> Cabana Bay! Mm, so we're going to go and quickly check in and then drive the car around to the parking.
So two boys are desperate to go to the pool. So this is the pool with the slide, and then across the other side, then there's the pool with the lazy river. Park the car in the garage, now we're going to the room. They're having a few issues with trying to find us a home room, but the girls sorted it, so we've definitely got Volcano Bay view. So we're staying beachside. I'm going to go over a bump now. Okay, so close. So close. We're in eight nine oh seven. So here we are for Cabana Bay, Volcano Bay view room. We are beachside. We are on floor nine. It is an accessible room again, and I think that's how we've been able to land a high floor room because they were saying to us that they've got issues with being able to give us a high floor room and the girl went off to see what she could do and then all of a sudden we're on the ninth floor so I think what's happened is because we're only here for a short period of time they've allocated us one of the accessible rooms so here we go then let's flip it round and show you round so as you walk in the door you've got this really kind of big little space by the door which is good if you've got a stroller and you need somewhere to put it not that we do now, thank goodness. Immediately then on the left is the bathroom. So you have your toilet and behind the door here then you have an over bath shower. I wanna hold it. I wanna hold it. I wanna show you. Hold on. With the uh, VO5 things. Okay, oh, Finney's going to do the big reveal. Hold on, we're not, yeah, well, you can hold it when we do that bit, okay? We're at the end. So, <laughs> mirror over the sink. There is a hairdryer here. I don't imagine that's the greatest in the world, but there is one. What are you doing? Hand soap. You've got some storage with the little drawers on the side. Oh. And as you walk out, oh, we've got full length mirror on the door if you need to check your outfit. Ooh. Okay, not yet. We've not done the rest of the room yet. Checking to make sure you look beautiful. On the right. Ah. Oh, we've got a Jacob in the wardrobe. Which is, this is what I mean about it being an accessible room. Look, so you've got I all the hangers are low the down. The low down, small. Ironing board and iron, some extra pillows in there. Then you go into the main bit of the room. Currently got our cases stored here. It is an adjoining room. And you have, it's a double-double or a twin. So we have two beds, each with lamps over the top. You've got Bedside table in the middle. You've got the old fashioned little clock. And you've got sockets on there. They don't have USBs in, however, they are proper sockets. So you're going to need your adapters. The fab, cool, funky artwork. The bed linen. We've got a little chair next to a table and an ice bucket. You've got your Storage there, more storage for clothes with some drawers. TV, oh, we've got a coffee machine. And some coffee. And here then we do have a fridge. There will be nothing in it, but obviously if you need to store some drinks, some milk for your cup of tea or your coffee, you can put that there. If you're staying for a while and need to unpack, you have some drawer storage here. And four drawers, decent size, quite deep. That's always handy. And Finley wants to do the reveal out the window. No balcony, but big window. You've got to hold it steady, Finn. Yeah? Hi, guys. The, uh, the, show, the big reveal is Volcano Bay right in the middle of the... Oh, my goodness. Look at that view. We've full on got the volcano. How amazing is that view? 
Look, lazy river. The, the, the you know the pool itself. all the way at the, you know the, the, it's like all the way at the top of the volcano? Yeah. I'm not allowed to go on that yet. You're not allowed to go on that one yet. No, because it's... Oh, I think you might be tall enough now. No, but mum, it's from I, there. I'm definitely... It's the drop tower, so you're going to do like this. And then it is the drop, drop tower. tower. <gasps> I'll never do that. So, boys, turn around and give me a big smile. That is our whistle stop tour of the Volcano Bay Room with this epic view out the window. Well, obviously, you are an epic view, darling. Uh, yeah, wave pool there, volcano here. Pretty amazing. It's a big room. I do think this room is a bit wider, as I said, because it is an accessible room. So it's... Um, yeah, I think it's kind of where, where it's positioned, but I also think as well, because it's an accessible room, things are wider. You can definitely tell that the doorways are wider and stuff. But happy boys, are we happy to stay here for the first three nights of our yeah. holiday? Mm. I'm yeah. going to take that as a big fat yes. Okay. Now, I know two boys that want to get swim stuff on. I know Jacob needs food because he really didn't like any of the food on the aeroplane. So the poor lad's starving, mm. aren't you? He's starving and wasting away. So we're going to go and get some grub. We'll take you obviously on a walk around the rest of the hotel as we go in. Back. Swifty change in the room and we've come down by the pool and we've come to the hideaway grill which is the beach bar on our side. Uh, kids want just some, just basically some junk food really. Jacob's burger and Finley wants some chips and salsa. So this, as I say, this is the grill here. So it's very much poolside fare with uh, appetizers, things like wings, nachos, some salads on there. We've got kids' menus. We've got hot dogs, burgers, and some sandwiches, including some shrimp tacos there. We've got the Coke machine, so if you can purchase a drinks cup for the resort, very similar to what you can do at Disney, and then you get unlimited refills at the hotel. And they also do it at the bar as well. So I'll show you that in a minute. As I said, they do refillable cups here. Um, so the, this is the Cabana Bay one. This is the pop one, if you like. So for the Coca-Cola cup uh, drink machines, anywhere in the resort, refillable as many times as you like for the length of your stay. So Finley's very happy. He's got access to pop now for the next four days. Very happy. Sammy's happy because I have a different kind of souvenir cup. This is the adult Cabana Bay souvenir cup. Very funky design there. And it's for the cocktails. Which are on there. So you pay $16 for the cup. And then your refills thereafter are only $12. Which is extortionate for cocktails, I'm sure. But in resorts, this is what you're going to pay. $12 for a refill is not two bags. You're always paying like $14, $15 everywhere, don't you, Fred? Yeah. So, perhaps not quite as uh, bad a deal as I made that out to be, but it comes in a funky cool cup. And I get refills. So I'm trying this one first, because I'm partial to a mojito. I just need to have a look, good look through the others and decide what the next one might be. Mark is very happy, however. He's sat there with a pint of yingling in front of him. Yingling. Yingling. I can never say it correctly. Yeah, that's So this is the beer we cannot get back home at all. 
We managed to find Sam Adams at home for a period of time. Oh, uh, you can. You can still get it in. Yeah, occasionally you can find bottles of that. But that one, you can't get anywhere. So he's a very happy boy. <laughs> Jacob's got his super cheesy nachos from Doritos. They are like ridiculously cheesy. Make your fingers go on. So we're going to grab some food. We're going to play in the pool, which is behind us. Tonight, the movie by the pool is Kung Fu Panda 3. So we're going to get those whooshy fingers out. I also just realised that I didn't tell you how much the Cabana Bay resort mugs are. So we've just checked the receipt and they are $16.50 before tax. Yes? Yeah, before tax. $16.50 so as I said that gives you uh, unlimited refills for the duration that you tell them you want it for for the duration of your stay basically the food is ready Jacob has got his burger and now, fries these nachos, I know they look funny but they all taste the same with just a different colour okay Finley has got chips and salsa we went to share some ultimate nachos, but Daddy just had to go for a hot dog. We could do with swapping seats. So we have the chicken ultimate nachos, the Honolulu hot dog, nachos and salsa, Jacob Addy's burger, and I think Mark's gone running off with the receipt. It's not under that tray, is it, Finn? No. Nope. It was $37. Was it $37? Yeah. $37 give or take a few cents. 